chasing it. That ball hooking away from Buster. When I was playing, I definitely enjoyed robbing a home run than hitting one. You know, for you, do you like robbing home runs or hitting them? Definitely robbing. Some of the face expressions you get when you rob a home run is just priceless, you know? Like, it just motivates your team to go out there and put more pressure on He caught it! Byron Buxton took a home run away from Nelson Cruz! You know, for me, when I went back on balls, you know, you always can feel that wall, but I, I kind of said, forget that. I'm going to catch this ball for my pitcher, and I'm going to run into the wall. I don't care. This, this is the game I love. I see the same thing in you. You know, when you're going back on the ball, what's your feeling? What's your thought process? The way that my mentality is, it's like a boxing match. You can hit me, but I'm going I'm to come back to you. So, <laughs> you know, like, it's something I need to do. Like. I want to be the best outfielder there is. So in order for me to be that way, I can't be scared of hitting the wall or, or taking a hit there, you know? One thing I saw with you was that in the early in the season, you were scuffling, but you never stopped slumping in, in de on defense. You know, is, that's something that I always did. I always separated my offense from my defense. And I was wondering if you do the same. Me, my mentality, you know, whatever happens on the offensive side, it, it can affect what I do on defense because just because my bat's not working right now, I still play a big part in the field to take away those base hits and, and get back in there to get those at bats to get myself better. So hitting wise, I get out, I line out, I strike out. Don't take whatever that is to the field because as soon as you do that, that next ball is going to be hit to you and you got to be ready for it. And if you're not, you're going to you're going to butcher. It's coming right it's, to you. Oh, Every yeah. time you strike out, are you thinking about that or you pop up with bases loaded and you go to, to the outfield to your position, the ball comes right at you. And it yeah. seems 10 times harder. I definitely want to know, what do you like to do, you know, outside of baseball? I know everybody knows you're a baseball player, but when you want to let your hair down, which you don't have, <laughs> do, what do you do? Um, majority of the time I spend it, you know, playing baseball with my little boy. Say after a day game, say we play a day game at 110 and we finish at four. Mm -hmm. I know for a fact he's gonna wanna go to a ball field. So before I come to the ball field, I put his balls and his bats and his glove, I put it in my car. As Soon as we get down here, I go straight to a ball field. If I had a bad game, had a good game, it allows me to, you know, go to the next page. You, you did your baseball time here, and I spend your time with your family. And, and once that is over, I focus on tomorrow. I know you've been in the major leagues for two years, but you've made a slew of catches. What are some of your favorite catches uh, that you've made since you've been in, in, in the major leagues? Definitely the, the catch I made on Mother's Day. Get hard to center. Buxton chasing it, leaping. Oh, Byron Buxton, did he catch it? Oh, what a catch. Right before the game, my mom, she was like, you're going to make a catch today, aren't you? And I said, I don't know, Mom, am I? And she sent me back a smiley face and, like, it was... An emoji? Yeah. So <laughs> Your mom was... know what emojis are? Yeah, Unbelievable. I know, She's up I know, to date. I know. So that, in my mind, I was already prepared to, I want to do this for my mom. You know, this, this day is for her. She, she told me through a text, you know, that's what I want to do. And the um, situation happened and I had a good play. Byron Buxton with a phenomenal catch in center field.